What is the difference between Tesla's full self-driving package versus the free basic autopilot that comes with every Tesla? And is full self-driving worth an extra $8,000? I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Today's video is sponsored by Morning Brew. The daily email newsletter covering the latest news from Wall Street to Silicon Valley, informative, witty, and everything you need to start your day. Subscribing is completely free and takes less than 15 seconds. Click the link in the description below to find out more. Not too long ago, Tesla revamped the way they sell their autopilot features in their vehicles. It used to be that you had to pay extra for autopilot and it was not included in the price of a Tesla vehicle. Now, however, Tesla does include basic autopilot features and of course the basic safety features in each of their vehicles and this comes with the purchase cost of the vehicle. You can, however, choose to upgrade to the full self-driving package for an additional $8,000. Tesla's free basic autopilot groups together several safety features to allow your vehicle to drive somewhat automatically in a single lane on the highway. It groups together the automatic steering, the lane keep features, the adaptive cruise control, with also automatic braking and collision avoidance. And technically you're supposed to have your hands on the wheel when driving an autopilot so you can be in control and ready to take over at any minute. However, even when you're not driving an autopilot, many of these same safety features are also in play. All Tesla's vehicles come with forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, lane support to keep you from drifting out of your lane, and of course a very useful feature, adaptive cruise control. This video is sponsored by Morning Brew, the free daily newsletter emailed to you Monday through Saturday that gets you up to speed on business news in just five minutes. Before subscribing to Morning Brew, this meant me scanning the headlines of a few major news sources to keep up with the current events. I had to wade through lots of dry, boring news stories that I was not really interested in to find a few important ones that were relevant to me. However, now starting my day with Morning Brew, I can read the entire daily issue in about five minutes and it gives me a really good grasp on the important news stories of the day that really matter. I enjoy the unbiased articles that get straight to the point without a lot of wasted words or info, and they cover many important topics like business, politics, finance, and tech. They're witty, relevant, informative, and this news comes directly to me in my inbox. And in a recent Morning Brew issue, I learned about Lordstown Motors, which is going to go public through a reverse merger, a SPAC or special purpose acquisition company, similar to what Nikola has done recently. Subscribing to Morning Brew is completely free and it takes about 15 seconds to sign up. There's no reason not to subscribe if you're interested in business, politics, finance, or tech. You can click the link in the description to find out more. So we've covered the basic functionalities and the features that come with Tesla's free autopilot package. Features like automatic steering on the highway, automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and lane support. Of course, many other auto manufacturers also include many of these same safety features and some include some autopilot type features in their vehicles. But overall, Tesla has a really good track record for effectiveness and safety. According to the European New Car Assessment Program, when they tested the Tesla Model 3, it achieved a safety assist score of 94%. This is one of the highest scores that the Euro NCAP has ever given any vehicle. When you compare this to other new electric vehicles like the Audi e-tron which got a 76% safety assist score and the Porsche Taycan which got a 73% safety assist score, it underscores just how much more effective Tesla's basic safety systems are that are the underpinnings of their autopilot system. As I mentioned, Tesla's system also has a very good safety track record. According to Tesla's most recent Q2 2020 safety report, with autopilot engaged, Tesla's vehicles are nine and a half times less likely to get in an accident compared to the NHTSA's national average. Even without autopilot engaged, with only the safety features working, they are still 4.7 times less likely to get in an accident. Now I'd like to talk about the added features when you purchase the full self-driving package. What do you get right now and what might you get in the future. 
Tesla has mentioned multiple times that each of their vehicles being sold right now have all the hardware necessary for full self-driving. Their sensor suite includes eight cameras, radar, ultrasonic sensors, and also their in-house designed Tesla full self-driving computer. Tesla's vehicles cannot currently drive themselves, so when you buy an $8,000 full self-driving package, that does not mean that the car can autonomously drive itself in all situations. However, you do get some features and you get promised features in the future. Some of the features that you get right now include Navigate on Autopilot, which puts together auto steering, adaptive cruise control, and allows for automatic lane changes if your hand is on the wheel. When in this mode, your Tesla can automatically take exits, go through interchanges, and overtake slower cars. Even when you're not in the Navigate on Autopilot mode, you can initiate auto lane changes by using your blinker. Another feature that you get with the full self-driving package is Smart Summon. According to Tesla, with Smart Summon, your parked car will come find you anywhere in a parking lot. You simply hold down a button on the phone app and your vehicle will come to you slowly at around 5 miles an hour or so. Another feature that you get with Tesla's full self-driving package is the auto park features, which automatically allow your car to park in parallel and perpendicular parking spaces. A recent feature that Tesla added to this full self-driving package is traffic light and stop sign control. Your Tesla can recognize and respond to stop lights and stop signs. Of course, this still requires a lot of supervision. Your car will stop at most traffic stops when there is a red light or a stop sign, and it does require confirmation to start again. You still have to press the accelerator pedal to get going again after being stopped. Each of these features is of course a stepping stone to full self-driving which will come in the future. And Tesla is promising that automatic driving on city streets, basically navigate on autopilot for the city, will be available in the near future. And of course Tesla's ultimate goal is to reach full self-driving where your vehicle can drive completely by itself without supervision. If you pay Tesla $8,000 right now you get all these features and you get the promise of these future features that we just mentioned. So now the big question, really the elephant in the room is, is it worth an extra $8,000 right now for Tesla's full self-driving package? One way I like to look at it is to break down the $8,000 based on the features that you currently get right now. For instance, you could say that the Navigate on Autopilot with auto lane change is the most valuable feature and that is worth $6,000 of the $8,000. If you think Advanced Summon is worth $500 and Auto Park is also worth $500 and maybe the traffic light and stop sign control is worth $1,000, then that gives you an $8,000 value for this $8,000 purchase. The value equation starts to make more sense, however, when Auto Steer on City Streets becomes a feature that's available and of course when future full autonomy happens, it'll definitely be worth it. On July 1st, Tesla raised the full self-driving package to its current level, $8,000, and Elon Musk said on Twitter, the full self-driving price will continue to rise as the software gets closer to full self-driving capability with regulatory approval. At that point, the value of FSD is probably somewhere in excess of $100,000. If you believe Tesla will be able to achieve full self-driving with their current suite of hardware and you can afford it, then yes, I believe that Tesla's full self-driving package is worth it because you do get some great features right now. It also allows you to lock in a lower price before more features are added and the cost goes up. Of course, you will automatically receive all these new features once they come out. And once full self-driving is feature complete, you will have way more than you paid for. Of course, no one really knows when Tesla's vehicles will be feature complete for full self-driving, but they do seem to be on the right track. Once again, I want to thank Morning Brew for sponsoring this video. As I mentioned earlier, subscribing is completely free, takes less than 15 seconds, and you can click the link in the description to find out more. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because that helps other people find the video. And I wanted to take a moment here at the end of the video to thank the Patreon supporters, which support me every month and help me bring this content to you. 
If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.